I've been meaning to get around to this knife. I'm gonna get around to you, buddy. Um, this, my friends, I would like to introduce you to the Ferrum Forge Gent 2.0. Um, and uh, you know what? I got this, and I thought, oh, well, you know, I like the Ferrum Forge Gent. Remember, Masterop did the. Daily Bobber on that. Daily Bobber. That's very specific language there. On that. Deep carry pocket clip. Oh, it's milled into the thing. And we got flat screws. And that's about all. Okay, next. <laughs> no. I, you know, I got this knife and I pulled it out of the box. And I don't know. I guess I was expecting more. Nine CR eighteen MOV stone washed green G ten okay, just an elegant and a lovely box, lovely and elegant all at the same time. Comes with a fascinating plastic sleeve, at no additional cost. Now I thought, okay, like thirty five bucks, right? No, no, you will have the privilege of paying $75 for it. Well, unless you get it from White Mountain. Oh, by the way, they still got them in stock. How many weeks have I had you? How many weeks have you been around here? Not even earning your keep. And um, so you can not only buy it now with one click, but put in LTK discount code, and that way you get seven dollars and whatever 50 cents off but okay so in that case it's in the 60s okay i like the 60s the beatles british invasion okay um and 3.88 inches closed length and eh, under three inch blade length so that may be good for you flat grind drop point flat something and uh it's a ferrum forged design so uh, caged ceramic bearings. Woohoo! 2.88 amps. Okay, enough looking at paper. Let's look at this lovely piece of cutlery. Oh my god, I got so excited. Just about knocked the camera over. Okay, um, and it is, it is just, I would say, really, it's underpriced. It probably ought to be closer to $350, but... I don't know how they keep the price so low. Um, you know, I'm joking, right? Okay. Uh, but it is it is a gent carry. Okay, so this is the gent. And okay, so it's lightweight, small, gent carry. Um, the design is wonderful because I like Ferrum Forge designs. Okay. So overall, yes. Okay. I like the Mordax. Don't you like the Mordax? Where is my Mordax? It's in one of these drawers. It, like, got separated from the box somewhere, and some guy sent it in for a table sale, and I said, to hell with it. I mean, it didn't sell, so I bought it from him. Um, it's blue, the machined one. But here's the Minix, right? This is also on my most recent sale, and nobody bought it. And the price got knocked way down, and nobody has even either looked or they're completely insane and haven't bought it because... If this, I mean, this is a lot like their Pro Series, which I think We Knives makes, okay, the Fortis, uh, you know, Pro Series. And so, but, now, this, let me just talk about this quickly. 20 CV blade, ceramic bearings, yes, but there's a lot going on here, design-wise, isn't there? Look at all this. You want some holes? You're going to get some of them. You're going to get some cut through, some cut down, some waffle, frag pattern, front and back, all kinds of titanium, and you could finger flick it. You could do whatever you want. And you get an actual decent box and a zipper pouch and all that shit, too. Whatever. So there you go. Minix. Minwax? No, Minix. Okay, and. But. Let's get back to this loveliness. Okay, now when it comes to this, I feel like I have descended a bit in the quality uh, assurance lineup here. Now, I, uh, is it is the fit and finish horrible, or is there any real problems? No, but I don't know. There's just something, and let's rotisserie this. 
something about it I am just not feeling. And it's not just because I'm like not a big, huge fan of small knives. Okay. But I, I know it's got Farron Forge name on it. And I know it's a Farron Forge design. Okay, I get it. I don't know who they're doing this with. If this is coming from Civivi, because, I mean, they're doing their Pro Series with Wii, so it makes sense, but that this would be part of that same family. But little number six screws, okay. But, I mean, you got to take these off, and obviously you can get underneath the screws holding this together and go that way. This, to me... I mean, look at this. It looks like a little plastic sticker, actually. I mean, it just... This looks cheap to me. You see what I'm saying? I mean, here, this this is actually, you know, titanium and whatever, and it looks a little better. And, I mean, think about it. Okay, let, so what do you think? Oh, is there something else that would be competitive? Well, how about the petrified fish... And this is the 949X, I believe. Yeah, the PF 949X in K110. This is blue micarta, deep carry clip. This is actually a titanium pocket clip. Uh, no, you can't do left hand. Okay, right hand only, lanyard hole. No lanyard hole, right hand only. Is this G10? Yes, this is micarta. But this is contoured micarta. Bowler K110 blade. Take a look. They're about the same size. But they ain't the same price. This baby, 45 bucks. This, 75 bucks. Hmm. Ceramic bearings on both of them, though. Uh, this one's got like a crown spine on it. Look at this on here. Like that. This one, mm, no. But it's okay. I mean, you know. Uh, it's just to me, and let me show you something that'll cost you about one third the price. Okay, so this is a little bit bigger knife, and you're gonna look at this and you're gonna go. But if I wouldn't have shown you this, you might have been impressed, right? It'll go right hand and left hand. It's got some grippy on these scales. It's got I don't think it's ceramic bearings, but it's bearings and. Baby, she's got a drop, just follows you around, centered, no blade player lock rock. And it's got, yeah, it's got a wire clip, but it's, you know, front and back, left and right. Um, you like this little fuller thing running through the handle? Really grippy. But now I can get all fingers on this thing. 25 bucks. 25 cuss smackers, right? And this, of course, is the Firebird. FH922, and this was kind of a grayish blue, but I I hit it in the blue dye and finished it off. But, okay, and even, you know, you want to get a little bit larger. How about the CH knife? And this one I just had rolling around a drawer, grabbed like, this is a 3519, right? 3519, I can't remember if this got ceramic bearings like that. that that's the alpha and the omega decision here of the world, but it's not. $28. Okay, I think I got it White Mountain Knives. $28, and then that's before discount. So it's another about net $25 shooter, okay? And yes, I have used this one around the house. You can still see debris on the blade and everything. I haven't cleaned. Oh, yeah, right. Okay, never mind. Yes, yes, I have. But it means it's been a good little user, right? I just think there's a lot of choices out there, and I don't know. okay, but okay, still, I mean, like the hiccup, this is eighty bucks, so okay, and, you know, I mean, there's 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 ups and downs. Check out another one though. How about this Tucson? This is the three ninety one. I got this. It was forty five bucks. On White Mountain, and then I got, or it's 46, and then I used LTK discount code, so it was like 42, something like that. All in. Okay? Is this D2? Yeah, this is D2 as well. And this is that YX design, and yeah, crap. 
you know, I get this under the lights and then I do see where I didn't quite get the blade cleaned up that well. But yeah, I've grabbed this and used this. Nice drop, green, micarta scales. Beautiful drop on it. I love the design. I'll be doing a video on this one. I mean, I just... There's some hellaciously good budget knives out there. So, I mean, there's me bitching them on. Okay, let's get on with it. Because, yeah, it's small. It's, you know, it's under a three-inch blade. So, if that's, the you know, the territory you got to be in. And let's clear this thing back out. Because I got too quick on it. But... 2.8 ounces, 79 grams, kick this, um, under 3 inch blade, technically, but, I mean, let's just call it 3 at about 75 millimeter, and then we're under 7 inches overall, 6.8, somewhere in there at 17 and a half centimeters, okay? Now, I think this is pretty slender. Uh, yeah, 0. 0.40. So, yeah, that's 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 real slender. 10.2 millimeters there. What do we got for blade stock? Three, three millimeter. Okay. So, I, I mean, I like the overall design, but I just... And here's your lockup. That's pretty fair. That's 30%. Okay. Um disengaging well there's not a lot of differential in this height but it's it's you know it's okay so i'm not getting any blade play lock rock um i believe it's centered yeah it's centered up it's good there it's decent in and out of the pocket that works okay uh so you know i mean there's a lot of good things about it I just think the price, and I think, I don't know, I'm just not, this is just, I know it's flat, and I know it should be convenient, because it is, but it just, it looks like a little aluminum or metallic sticker, it just doesn't look very classy, the packaging is incredibly minimal, and uh, kind of gives you a feeling like you're getting something out of a cereal box or something, it's just... Um, uh, wow. Uh, it's just, I mean, there's just, even like the petrified fish box, I mean, it's got this and this, and I write on them because they don't put the model number, but I mean, I've got extra hardware. I've got, uh, a pewter tag. I've got, they gave me a neck lanyard to put this pewter tag on and a microfiber cloth, you know? And so, even regardless of the extra junk they put in the box, whatever you want to call it, um, I think it's pretty considerate. I like it. But even regardless of that, I mean, I got these two knives lined up. I mean, really, if, had I not known any better, I'd take this uh, even up. So, uh, I just think it's a little pricey. I, I don't know what's going on. Um, but, I mean, slender, yes, uh, ergos are great, I mean, design's really good, and I barely get number four finger there, you can slide up on this, and I don't know where it is in the cutting range, let's, uh, let's take part of this and see, yeah, it's sharp, yeah, it's, it's decent, it's, uh, it's on the upper range of factory sharpness, at least. So it's not like just barely passable. It's, it's, it's pretty good. So, yeah. Um, and the finish on the blade's decent. That kind of thing. I mean, how do you screw up a budget knife? I think you just charge too much money for it. And or you get the fit and finish wrong. But the fit and finish looks okay here. It's just, I mean, you know, and it doesn't need to be contoured or anything. And the G10's decent, and it's relatively grippy. Uh, it's just a small knife, and therefore, you may get four fingers on it. You may not, and that's okay, too. But as far as just throwing it in your pocket for a very lightweight, discreet carry, it's okay for that, too. And you see the design 
flow is great and blade to handle length is great as well. So, I mean, it's good in that respect, okay? So let's just throw a big damn fit. I, I you know, I, I just, I don't know. I just uh, thought I, I, I just had bigger expectations for this knife in particular, and I didn't come up with that. Okay, let me take this off. Come to think of it, because you know what? I'm going to take this pocket clip off. And there's that, and there's one screw on that, but it's okay. It's it's machined in. And then I got two uh, scale screws on here. And, ooh, they are... Yeah, these are tiny, and I guess we're going to have an interior screw, right? Uh, going through the standoff. And these are the same size. Okay, so yeah, we got one interior screw right here which is made room for with this machining so let's kick this open i mean i guess it gives it a nice clean look on the outside by moving a screw on the inside but i don't know if you needed to do that no more lovely and decorative than this thing really is which not very okay there you go um you know Ceramic bearings, okay, nothing bad there. And this is pretty clean. And this is, this is like uh, bead blasted. That's what it feels like to me. But it's really nice and smooth. It's just <sighs> kind of uninspired. And here, you know, you've got no skeletonized liners or anything. <clears throat> Which, I mean, I don't know that you need it because it's not very heavy anyhow, but... Yeah, I'm going to think that this is, I mean, the way they're putting the blade steel right up here, very stealth, like Civivi Knives does and stuff, I'm going to say that's probably who it is. And I, you guys probably know, I I forgot, but I'm just, just taking a guess. And there's this, and, you know, I guess it's actually just a steel piece here, and it's a one piece, and so you can line up this logo that makes sense. Um, so that's actually fairly sensible. It's just, I don't know, it just has some kind of a weird cheap look to it. For some reason. And let's roll this around. At least it's easy to press up to here and get that finished up. But... Uh, I got some juice left in here. I left the cap off. And so it dribbled out on the table. It's like, ah, damn it. Um, don't do that. Okay. And we got the stop. And we got bearings. So this is going to be easy off, easy on, pretty much. I mean, it would have been maybe preferable or I would have looked for a way to avoid having an internal screw but okay uh, and that dog is this puppy right here because it's the only domed top type screw of the bunch the others are flat let's see what we got magnetic here okay come here Okay, load you down, and let's keep this. It's going to drive me crazy here. Okay, now let's put this back on. And are we good? Okay, well, let's just get this pushed in. And locate this. This crazy thing in the right place. Okay, get it centered in here. And I don't want to turn that down too hard. And then these tiny little screws. Tiny little screws. And you got to put this one under here before you can put the pocket clip back on. Whew. They are definitely small. 
Okay. Okay, and last but not least, I reckon, huh? Oh, yeah, we're good. That should be right. Okay. And the eagle has landed. I think we're good. Uh, it looks centered. Okay. Didn't make a huge difference as far as action goes. Let's see if I... I didn't really give it much twist, though, on that pivot. So it should be about where it's going to be, period. Because I didn't crank down on it. And I don't want it to have any play. And it doesn't. So it's good. But it's not ultra drop shutty. But it's okay. So what do you think? Ferrum Forge Gent 2. I don't know. I, I just... I don't get that excited. There's something missing here. Uh, it would be nice if it had a bit of a backspacer. It could afford to do that. You could skeletonize that front liner and give yourself plenty of room to stay in the two-something uh, ounce range and still put a backspacer on there. Maybe Micarta... Uh, maybe try contoured handles. Uh, I don't see why you wouldn't come around and give it a left hand carry as well. It's, it's just a budget, you know, shooter. So, I mean, it's not really all about the looks necessarily that way. Um, but yeah, I mean, the design is great. And yes, for what it is, lightweight, easy carry. Okay, I get you. 9CR, but it's not. It's not Nitro V or anything. See, it's 75 bucks for a 9CR and shit. I mean, I can give you a 9CR, you know. I can get you a send cut for 46 bucks. Actually got a better drop. Oh, probably by the same company, isn't it? Damn, okay. Or, hold on, sorry, that was a fail, but I'm under the camera. I'm trying to hold off, but Watagua button lock right fidgety which, which one is this 9c oh that's d2 that's d2 most of them are 9cr but okay but 45 smackers i mean uh, i don't know you decide um but you know everybody's got different tastes so there it is that's the knife and just remember, we do love them knives. So you guys, stay sharp.